it's Olivia from Live's Healthy Life and welcome to part two of my low-fat Alfredo sauce series. I guess it's a series but there's only two parts. Today I'm going to show you how to make amazing Alfredo pizza. So take whatever vegetables you want. I just use peppers, zucchinis, and mushroom and spinach and chop them up um, into fairly big pieces because they're going to shrink a bit when you cook them. And then I like to saute them a little bit before I put them on the pizza. You can put them on raw for sure, but um, I don't know. I just think like sauteing them gives it a little bit more depth of flavor and softens them a bit. And then take your pizza crust and add the Alfredo sauce. One thing I will say about this is if you're using dough, when it cooks, the sauce is going to like cook into the dough a bit and you won't have as much when you take it out. So I actually recommend cooking the dough for a few minutes before you put the sauce and the toppings on just so that it doesn't seep into it. And then I just added spinach with a bit more sauce on top and then kind of spread it around and then add your vegetables. Um, I just put mine on hot. I'm, I think it's okay to do that. I don't know. If you're putting it straight into the oven after, I'm sure it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, I just kind of put those all over the pizza, tried to spread them in an even layer. Uh, it, I don't know. It, it worked. <laughs> and then I added a bit more spinach on top because you can never have too much spinach on your pizza. And then I took this Daya cheese. Daya is pretty good on pizza. Um, I like the mozzarella kind and the, the jack cheese kind. And then you just cook it for approximately 15 to 20 minutes and it is so delicious. It's a nice change from like a tomato based sauce I find um, and it's really flavorful. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. 